all things Halloween. This is Hauntformer, and welcome to part two of the California Costumes unboxing. Last time, we took a look at their all-new light-up mask line, and today, we're returning to an age-old favorite, the towering costume slash prop item. Now, a few years ago, I actually did a review of the pumpkin towering monster, and today, we're gonna re review maybe my favorite one. I have suggested for California Costumes to do an alien, also licensed one, so I think a giant Freddy Krueger would be honestly super cool, or Jason, or something. But this is the vampire. Kind of a classic Halloween symbol, but you're, you're, if, if you can't beat them, join them. And so I'm gonna be joining the vampires today in being their lord of vampires. Now, you might be asking, how does a giant monster fit in a box like this? And the answer is because it inflates. That's the magic of this. So I actually don't know how big these towering ghoulies are because technically it depends on how tall you are. I'm six foot, so I feel like with the additional feet, I'll probably get to be maybe like 10, 11, 12 feet, I'm not quite sure. But when you take it out, whoo, there's that giant vampire head and hands. I'm pretty sure the hands are in the back. It is made of this plastic, which is nice because you really don't want it that heavy because this is going on top of you. Keep that in mind. Then we also have the inflatable dummy that you inflate and it goes on top of your shoulders. As you can see in the pictures, that's kind of the idea. Kind of the idea. It is a decoration that doubles as a costume, but really I like to think of it as a costume that doubles as a decoration because if you get this, please wear it. It's way cooler than hanging it up. I'm sure it's cool to hang up, but to walk around as this monster is something you could honestly only see at a theme park. We have more inflatable stuff, and of course the giant costume. And for some reason there's a picture of a little boy as a pirate. So we have that. Uh, in addition, you have the strings, and I think this is primarily for if you hung this up because you can like hang it from a tree or hang it from your house. I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to wear the sucker. So let's try it on. Whoa, it's like fuzz flying. All right, I finally inflated this after four days. I'm out of breath. And um, first of all, I gotta say California costumes, keep being you because this is awesome. Like the pumpkin one was really dope, not gonna lie. But this is a step above and a bit scarier, which is really cool. So I think it's been a while since I've done this, but you should have four components. The head is one or the mask, whatever you wanna call it. This piece, which is this inflatable thing. And basically what it does is, I'll demonstrate it in a second, but it's gonna go on your shoulders. And that's the height. That's where the height goes. You also get two monster hands with little straps. So that way you can maneuver the hands as you please. And of course, the, uh, the clothes, the cloak. And this one, because it's a vampire, has this real nice collar. So, now we gotta put it together. Also, I just wanna commemorate them. This is a really good quality material. Some uh, costumes have the worst quality and I can't stand it for the prices that some costumes are. But this has a really good thick feel to it and I really appreciate that. So, with the mask, there's two straps on either side. You're gonna take it like this and you're gonna run it through the inflatable costume or decoration, I should clarify, you can do both, until you get it to the other side. Also make sure the hair piece goes over the head. Nobody likes a balding vampire. You have to basically put these straps on over your shoulders and it gets a little weird. But there is an area right see if I can show you. Right here on the chest, you see that? This is see-through mesh. That's where your face goes. That's where the magic happens. I'm gonna come down here, grab these. Now there is a Velcro thing on the sleeve. 
like you would find on a, a Halloween prop. And you're gonna secure it to the glove. And that way, you'll have that range of motion. I would honestly recommend gripping some of the plastic too, just because you can get a little loosey goose hand if you're not careful. So, hold tight. You get that monster hand. Let me grab the other hand. There we go. I don't know vampire noises. Insert vampire noises here, Mac. Yeah, Mac. say I'm gonna take the hands off for a second the gloves are off folks you would think that this would be really uncomfortable or hot or something it's not I can see through this really easily it's great it's very breathable and especially out here in Florida where it's really hot it's really nice to have some air there you have it giant vampire 101